What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new wrestling action figure news, and it is big news because, as you guys know, if you're unaware, it is San Diego Comic Con season. We are just a week away from San Diego Comic Con. Next week, next Wednesday, I will be flying out to San Diego to cover all of the San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> What the hell was that? I gotta keep that in the video. Next week, I'm gonna be going out to San Diego, and we are going to be covering all of the brand new wrestling action figures from WWE, AEW, Jazzwares, Mattel, all of the different stuff. Should be getting a Mattel interview in there. We're gonna be seeing all of the figure coverage. We're gonna cover it all here on the channel. I'll be going through all of the booths, videoing it, putting up my thoughts on the figures real quick-like, and of course, when we will return, we'll probably do a more in-depth thing about the images, of course, and everything breakdown, but it's gonna be exciting. I'm sure there's gonna be some sort of wrestling talent out there as well. It should be fun, man. I cannot wait. It is an exciting time to be a collector, but AEW and Jazzwares just put out their brand new 2024 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and we're going to be covering it here today and talking about it, man. And honestly, I, I kind of mess with it a little bit. I mess with it a little bit, and we'll get into it, man. Let's bring it up, man. We are looking at the 1 of 1,000 AEW Supreme San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive Double or Nothing 2023 Kenny Omega figure. And this figure looks pretty damn good. Now, we're going to break down all of the things. I'm going to get into everything I think about this figure from the top to the bottom. But this is Double or Nothing 2023 Kenny Omega in his Captain America gear, if you will. And we're going to break down everything here, man. So, let's just start off with the presentation here. It is pretty cool. You have the Canadian flag behind there. You have the comic book S style packaging right here. At the top, it says SDCC 2023. 24 exclusive. You have the big window here showing the Kenny Omega, and at the bottom it says AEW Kenny Omega. Beautiful looking logo, and then it says one of 1,000. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a slip cover on this figure. I only saw the two images. I'll, I tried my best to find more images, but I'm pretty sure this is the only images we have. We have a loose shot, and we have a mock shot. Again, this figure is one of 1,000. You'll also notice on the box, the one of 1,000 is in that comic book font, and it looks pretty good there. I, I think it looks sweet. I think it looks awesome, the whole presentation of it. We didn't get a back shot of the hold up we didn't get a shot of the back of the packaging and we did not see anything else there but this is a supreme kenny omega in the captain america tire now when he first came out in this i wanted this in figure form i thought it was a fantastic looking gear i wanted this this gear ever since i saw it so seeing this is great you guys know that i love kenny omega he's one of my favorite wrestlers in the world and this is a fantastic figure here to have here in terms of getting another Kenny Omega I'm just excited to have another Kenny Omega but this is one of my favorite wrestling figures of all time not this specific figure but the Supreme Edition Kenny Omega I don't care if you're talking about the Walmart exclusive or just the you know the regular edition or just the mainline Supreme Kenny Omega one of my favorite wrestling figures of all time so seeing a repaint of that figure is fine we know the history of San Diego Comic Con exclusives with AEW and Jazzwares first year we had the Brody Lee that figure got absolutely shredded people did not like that figure they didn't like that it was kind of a random repaint people were kind of confused by it the packaging was awesome and everything but I, I know a lot of people were confused by it but I still like the figure and the packaging I just you know everybody was tearing apart because I don't think he ever even wore that gear but then we fast forward to last year 2023 we got the sting figure that came with the coffin which was a great figure I really like that one but again another repaint just a shirt just some cool packaging, things like that. And now this year, we do have Kenny Omega, and we do have the Captain America gear. Now, we don't really have any great shots of the gear, but you do get kind of an image there. You can kind of see what's going on there, and I'll bring up images of the gear itself so you can kind of see there. But it looks pretty good. I think they captured it for the most part. The only thing I don't really like about this figure is the head sculpts. I think the head sculpts look... I don't know what it is. Like, the deco on them looks weird. It looks like it's a bit... I mean, I know his hair was dark at this time, but it I don't know, something about the beard or like the certain things going on with it look a little bit off to me. I don't know if it's just the printed technology or what, but you get four interchangeable heads, which is very synonymous with the Supreme Edition. You don't get any entrance gear, I don't think, at least in these images I've seen. I don't see anything. It's hilarious how you guys know there's always a running joke with AEW and their figures that they always include a microphone, and they include a microphone with this figure for some reason. I think that's so funny, but I mean, I don't hate that we're getting another microphone. It's just so funny that that's a running joke that they always throw in a microphone, and here it is again showing up in this figure, which I don't think it's necessary. 
carry for, but there it is, man. But also, people were kind of concerned about the upper torso and the lower torso in terms of the skin tone being a little lighter and it messing it up there. And I can kind of see what you're talking about, but I don't think, I think it's just going to depend on the lighting. You know, I don't think that's going to be an issue just that you can really see because I have you know, multiples of that Supreme, and I don't ever notice the color change, unless I'm just wrong. I mean, I could be wrong, I guess, but I've never noticed that, so you guys will have to let me know there. But one of 1,000, man, I mean, that means that, I mean, like, I, I don't know how many people are going to watch this video, but essentially, a lot of people watching this video are not going to be able to get their hands on this. You know, as well as I do, they didn't put the Brody Lee up for order. They didn't put the Sting up for order, I don't think. So, the only way you're going to be able to get this is in person, and even when you're in person getting these things, man, it is very difficult. It is not, just because like you could have you know a badge to San Diego Comic Con like you could have a, a, an opportunity to be at Comic Con and anybody that's ever attended a Comic Con especially San Diego Comic Con the biggest con in the world or in the country they it's not easy man you don't just you know there aren't just a thousand of these sitting out and you just get one out of a tub and go up there and get it you have to go through a line and a checklist and sometimes there's you know, there's very long lines for these things most of the time, and then there's a checklist that you have to go through, and you have to pick what you want, and most of the time, you're limited on your quantity, so you, ha you can only get one, or maybe you can only get two, or whatever the case is. Most of the time, it's only one per item. There's just a lot of weird things going on at Comic-Con to prevent the masses from losing their minds and hogging up all the exclusives and then selling them on the aftermarket, unfortunately, so... There's a lot of weird things there, but I really like this figure. The only thing I don't like is the head sculpts. I knew it was going to be a repaint coming in. This is kind of a thing for Jazzwares and AEW for, you know, repaints and stuff like that. I figured it would be a repaint, but at least it's a repaint of a damn good figure. It's a repaint of arguably their best figure they've ever done. So I think you could say that this is fine, and it's a really cool moment in gear. I love the Captain America gear. When he wore this, I was like, damn, I want that in figure form. That looks amazing. And not to mention the damn trash can lid shield. Now, I do, I will say I wish that it had a little bit more details on it. It's a bit flat. It doesn't really look like a trash can lid. It just looks like a straight-up silver shield. So that's kind of a bummy. But I think it'd be cool to take a Marvel Legends Captain America shield or some sort of figure Captain America shield, put it up there with this figure, and I think that would look awesome. Another thing I thought about is you could take the Will Ospreay Super 7 figure, use the entrance gear from that figure and throw it on here. I think that would also look kind of cool. So there's some different things you can play around with. You know, I'm sure we can maybe, hell, even get the Ricochet, the new Ricochet Elite 111 entrance vest. Put that on this figure. That might look sick too. So there's some different things you can play around with, man. But I'm very happy to get this figure. I think it looks awesome. I'm excited for it. I hope that I'm able to obtain this. We'll have to see. I was very blessed to get two of the Sting last year, and that was a Hail Mary at the last possible second that happened, and it was a miracle that I obtained two of those. So hopefully this one I'll be able to get my hands on as well. I'd love to review this figure, and I would also like to have one to keep men on card like I did with the Sting. So that is something that I definitely want to do, but we will have to see. But if you compare the figure to the graphics in real life, I do wish the graphics on the side of the figure were a little bit bigger. They look to be a little bit undersized, but at the end of the day, I think it looks sweet. And again, these are the only images I have. I couldn't find any other images of this Kenny Omega. If I do find more images of the Kenny Omega, I will plug it in, but the gear looks pretty damn sweet, man. I think they did a really good job executing this figure, and the head sculpts don't bother me that much because I can easily just switch it you know we, we've seen so many head sculpts there's so many different things that you could see here that you could it, there's just so many options I mean AEW and Jazzwares has given us plenty of Kenny Omegas you can get in there you can switch it if you want to and you can make your own deal if you want to do so but I'm pumped for the figure I thought it was a cool release and I would like to know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. Not a perfect figure by any stretch. I know some people are going to be disappointed, I'm sure. But I think it's fine. I like both Comic-Con exclusives this year. I think the Shawn Michaels Ultimate is cool. I think this is cool. I think the two San Diego Comic-Con exclusives this year blow last year's out of the water for the most part. I think. I, I, th I genuinely feel that way. And I'm a big Sting guy. So I would say that this is an overall W for us collectors and AEW Jazzwares collectors. If you're a Kenny Omega fan, I know you definitely want to have this. I'm most definitely going to try my hand at getting one of these. If not two, we'll have to see. But if I don't end up with any of this figure, I will pay the aftermarket price and I will do a review of it. I would rather have it loose and review it than have it been on card. So we'll have to see 
how all those things shake out, man. But Comic-Con is coming up. It's next week. We're going to have plenty of Comic-Con content for you. We're going to be doing, you know, the, the live walkthroughs are going to be going around there. We're going to have the interview. We'll probably have a collab or something like that. And we'll be putting up all the coverage. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, definitely go follow me on all those platforms because we'll have additional things about it, especially on Instagram. Being there early and things like that, you can actually, I'll be able to showcase the releases as they're coming out, man. So go over there, follow me on Instagram at My Damn Toys, and then later on in the day, closer to of the nighttime, I will be putting up a video showcasing the walkthrough at Comic Con. But we'll do my wish list, we're gonna do my wants list, and all that for Comic Con and different predictions and stuff as well. So, should be fun, man. But that is pretty much gonna wrap the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. Are you disappointed? Are you, you let me all know all the things, let me know all the things, man. But huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do. I appreciate every single one of you so very much. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.